I'm Dr. Brent Clyde, neurological surgeon, providing expert guidance when a neurosurgical solution is an option for your condition. Do you experience sharp, radiating rib pain coming from the mid-back or chest area? Is the pain poorly defined? Has your doctor been looking for a problem in your lungs, gallbladder, or stomach? You could have a pinched nerve in the thoracic spine or the mid-back region. There are many causes of pain in the thoracic spine. The thoracic spine, or the mid-back, is the area from the first to the twelfth rib. There are a lot of things in this area, including the heart, the lungs, the liver, the gallbladder, the pancreas, the stomach, and the intestines. Although uncommon, a thoracic disc herniation can also occur. Thoracic disc herniation represents only 2% of all disc herniations, which typically occur in the neck or the low back. Because thoracic disc herniation is uncommon, many patients have evaluations for other problems, such as the heart or lungs, the stomach, or for gallstones. A herniated disc is simply a piece of disc that has escaped from the normal covering called the annulus. Some patients might recall a sudden pain in the mid-back that preceded any internal or radiating rib pain by days or weeks. This does not always occur, but when it does, it comes from a tear in the covering or the annulus. The central disc, called the nucleus pulposus, is a rubbery cartilage-like material, not a runny, gooey material like some people might think. If a piece of this firm, rubbery nucleus breaks off and escapes the normal covering, it can press on the spinal cord or the nerve to the ribs and cause pain. The central nucleus is like an eraser, firm and rubbery, yet as it ages it can become brittle and pieces can crumble or break from it. If the covering is weak or torn, these pieces can protrude through and compress nerves or the spinal cord. The thoracic disc herniation is usually not a dangerous condition, it is a painful condition. When a firm piece of disc presses on a nerve or the spinal cord, pain develops. Pain is the most frequent complaint in a patient with a thoracic disc herniation. Some patients may experience numbness around the chest wall or dysfunction below the waist. Some might have weakness or bladder difficulty. A thoracic disc herniation can be diagnosed with an MRI or a special CT scan with injected dye. In general, thoracic disc herniation is not a risk to the nerves or spinal cord. However, if the disc fragment is large enough, there can be a risk of permanent dysfunction to the spinal cord due to compression. This is unusual, however. Most disc herniations could be safely left alone were it not for the intense pain. If you have failed the passage of time, and there have been other treatment options attempted, a microdiscectomy might be of benefit to you. A microdiscectomy is performed through a skin incision less than one inch in length. Using a microscope or endoscope, the muscle tissue is gently taken off the bony elements of the spine, and an opening about the size of a dime is made in the bone. Through this opening, the spinal cord and the covering, as well as the nerve that's leaving the spinal cord, can be identified, and the disc fragment can be found. Just under or deep to the spinal cord is where the disc fragment is found. By gently working around the side of the spinal cord, the fragment is seen and felt and can be removed with small instruments. The goal is to remove all the material that's compressing the spinal cord or the nerve. Sometimes a small amount of arthritic enlarged bony tissue needs to be removed in order to make room to see around the side of the spinal cord and identify the problematic disc. This procedure takes less than an hour and is done as an outpatient. Patients typically stay about six hours for observation and to recover. The success rates of microdiscectomy in selected patients are over 90%. The risks are small and occur rarely. If you or your physician thinks this might be your problem, you will need to have appropriate imaging and I would be happy to review your history and your imaging and consult as appropriate. To learn more about thoracic disc herniation, please visit my website at www.ebrainmd.com you will find more detailed information and be able to request a consultation.